To connect a store, you will first need to go to Store Management in the left menu. Here is where you will manage your stores. To add a new store, click on Connect New Store. You will then need to type in your My Shopify URL. If you don't know what this is, it is the URL that is in your search bar whenever you are signed into the Shopify dashboard. After you confirm, you will then be taken to your Shopify account. Here you just need to click on Install App. After the connection is complete, you will then be taken to this screen. If you have orders in this shop, you can go to Orders, where we will be able to download your orders. You now need to click on Sync Orders. Select the store you just connected. Our system will then automatically download the orders and send the products to our sourcing team. They will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours with the price and shipping options. For future orders, these will automatically sync wherever the order is placed, so there will be no need to do this step again unless you have another store that you need to add. To post a sourcing request for a new item, you can go to the Request Sourcing page. Here you have two options, upload an AliExpress link or post a more detailed request for customized items. After entering the details, you can go to the Sourcing Dashboard. Here you will be able to see all your requests. New requests will have feedback usually within 24 to 48 hours. If you have not received your quote back, you will not be add the products to My Products. When you've successfully received the product price back in the Quote Received tab, you can view shipping prices and add it to your products. First select Variation and then choose Shipping Country. It's easy to change the country and see the shipping times for each country and the channel. Here you can make a decision on which shipping method to use as a default for this item. The most common choice is standard shipping. Now you can go to My Products. Here you can select the products you want to publish and click Publish to Shopify. Choose which store you want to publish and click Confirm. The product will then be in your Shopify store within a few minutes. Now that you have orders, you will see all your orders here. If there are new orders for a product you have not been quoted for before, our team will research and price as soon as possible. Once you have orders to pay for, you will need to top up your account to pay. The most popular options are Bank Transfer and Payoneer. You can select one by clicking on the picture icon of your desired payments choice. Once you have topped up and the payment is complete, the amount will appear in your balance. You can use this to pay for your orders. View your balance at any time in billing or through your dashboard. Now you can go back to the order page and select the orders you need to pay for. After you click Pay for these orders, we will begin to process the orders and the tracking numbers will be automatically updated to your Shopify store. No need for you to do anything else at this stage. If you need to edit any orders, you can do so by clicking on Edit Orders. Here you can correct any addresses and change the shipping channel. If there are any orders that you need to confirm with the customer, then you can move them to the Orders on Hold folder. Soon after signing up, you will be assigned an account manager. You can see this information in the dashboard. The name and phone number can be used for WhatsApp. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with your account manager. Also for ease, you can just click on the chat button on the bottom right of this screen. Your account manager will also be available here to respond.